everybody what's going on so hey we're gonna jump into this pretty quick as always as always thanks for being here thanks for tuning in thanks for clicking on the video so today we're gonna do a review video um, I told you I think it was on the last video or one of the last videos a, a company out of Canada called best lure um, company uh, they sent me an email a guy named Craig Ross the owner of it sent me an email wanted to know if we would be interested and looking at some of their plugs. Uh, we do a lot of plug fishing here on the Great Lakes, so I was I was intrigued, mosquitoes flying around. I was intrigued, I said, heck yeah, I'd love to take a look. Um, try them out, do a little fishing. You know, the, the only downside is, is right here at the end of our season, um, our boat's already out, and a lot of the, the boats that I go chartering on, uh, they're, they're coming out, they're not doing any more trips. So we're kinda, you know, we're running out of time. We may have ran out of time on doing a really good water test, fishing test, but hey, we'll do an unboxing. Um, we'll take a look at them. We'll do like an overview and maybe I'll do a follow-up video. Yeah, I'll do a follow-up video. I'll take them down at least down to the lake here nearby and uh, I'll put them on a line and I'll, I'll run them through the water. At least we'll take a look at see how they run. Uh, so anyway, let's, uh, let's start off here with the website. Uh, they got a nice website, I'll say that. Uh, I'll tell you real quick here what it is. Uh, website is best www.bestlure.ca. Um, They're out of Canada. I know that. Uh, I think it's British Columbia. They're up in, and uh, the owner, when I talked to him, really nice guy. Um, really supportive of the uh, the fishing community. Hoping to get some, um, you know, some interest on his stuff down here on the Great Lakes. Um, sounds like they do pretty good up where he's at. Uh, at least that's what he told me. So anyway, let's jump into this. Let's unbox these. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a quick look here. I'm looking on the website, just kind of figuring out exactly what it is that they have. And one thing I'm noticing is they do have quite a few different sizes um, on these plugs. They got two and a half inch, four and a quarter inch, three and five eighths inch, and six inch plugs. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good selection. Uh, they also got other gear and other merchandise. You know, if you want to go on the website, check it out. Not a bad idea. Let's uh, let's open this thing up. See what we got in here. So one thing I'll say here: if you guys have ne this is my everyday carry, my EDC knife. If you guys have never heard of Emerson knives, I absolutely love these things. I've put this this knife through some through some you know what, and man, I tell you what, these knives are hardy. I have no no affiliation with Emerson whatsoever. I just absolutely love their knives. Anyway, this quick shout out there. Super sharp, hold a great edge, single bevel edge, the way they should be. Love them. Anyway, let's see what we got in the box. Okay, uh, what do we got here on top? We got a nice shirt. Hey, thank you much, Craig, for the shirt. We'll put that to use for sure. Looks like we got, oh, yeah, we got a card here. Best Lure Company, Craig Ross. Thanks, Craig. Put that aside. Yeah, it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five. Where's that dinky one right there? Six. Another card in here from Jennifer Wood, co-owner, general manager. All right, Jennifer, thank you. And it looks like we got six plugs in there. So let's take a look-see, shall we? So I know that the I talked to them. And I saw on the website, it says they're made out of yellow cedar. Now, I don't know if that's a huge, um, you know, a huge advantage over other woods for making plugs. I just don't know. But uh, let's give an overall look here, um, see what these look like. So the packaging's nice. It's kind of like a, you know, a standard body bait packaging. It's pretty good looking. Lure's loose inside there, so it's going to get banged around. But uh, see if we can get a look there. Yeah, not bad. And on the back, we got uh, just some information about the company. It says works great for all species of game fish, as it acts like a wounded bait fish. Well, that's good. Designed for trolling or casting. So let's uh, let me adjust my camera here. Let's take a look. So it looks like I got not seeing the size. I okay here on the end. I got a gold digger. I've got a wind dancer. I got a little baby one here. This thing's kind of cool looking. This is a uh, boss hog. I got a toxic shock. 
That one doesn't have a name on it. Oh, but I remember that from the seeing it on the webpage with that one. I think it's called the, I don't know if I'm saying this, this is right, but Couchican maybe? Couchican Lake Killer? Something like that. And then No Regrets. I wish that they were better marked. That's one thing I'll say right off the bat. I wish they were better marked with what size each one is. I mean, obviously I know this dinky one is probably their smallest one or whatever that was. But I'm not seeing anywhere on here where, uh, make sure my camera's in focus here. Let me do a little adjusting here. I'm not seeing anywhere on here where um, it's marked as far as the size. Uh, just that's one thing right off the bat, I wish they'd do that. But uh, the product looks pretty good, so let's open one of these up. This is, actually this color right here was uh, one of the ones that caught my eye when he, when he first sent me the, uh, uh, the flyer on them. This one caught my eye as far as colors. Um, kind of looks like a little bit of a Wonder Break color on there. Alright, so taking a look here. Single hook, treble, double barrel, swivel on there, ball bearing. That's good. Light, very light body, I'll say that. Um, hook set or the uh, eye set looks pretty solid. Really deep. Um, see if I can get you a look on this here really really deep um, front hook or front uh, groove there so it's gonna give a really cool action I'll say that I don't know if it'll be you know fantastic or not but you know looks pretty cool I'll know more when I get in the water paint on it's really good really bright got a nice clear coat on it um, the tail is a different feature you know what we're seeing out you know on Lake Michigan most of the time that tail is not something that uh, we're accustomed to. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Yeah, so you see that tail on there, but you can see, I mean, overall, that's a nice paint job. Good bright colors, but uh, well, you get into a couple 20, 25 pound kings, I wonder how sturdy that tail is going to be. So that'll be interesting to check out somewhere down the road. But yeah, I like it. Um, I just don't. I, without putting it out on the water and knowing it's just hard to say but I do like the colors I do like the construction I do like it seems to be pretty solid um, so I do like all that let's open up another one this is the uh, the no regrets take a look here really nice color this again has that tail on it um, Got a nice sparkle black back finish uh, with like a silver boy they take their I tell you what Whoever does their painting, however this is done, if this is just like a dip or an actual hand paint, I'm not sure. Whoever does that does a nice job. They are nice looking baits. I will say that. They got a lot of nice flash to them. Why that wants to go out of focus. There we go. You can see that thing is well painted. So yeah, looks really good. Again, it's got that really deep uh, groove in the front. It's going to give a really unique action. This one has a single. A uh, single, uh, like a siwash or a, you know, that type of hook on the back there. Interesting. So that again is the no regrets. I'm going to keep these in the package so I remember which color is which. And that one wasn't labeled, but I'll keep that in there. And I got a, uh, a Toxic Shock. This one's one of the smaller ones. Yeah, that's. I don't know if that's a 6 inch or if that's one of their, their second biggest ones. I wish that was labeled in some way. Because this one I know already is a little smaller. Okay, so this one has a double treble on it, which is pretty unique. Get a good look here. Double treble. Again, really nice paint job. That neon green on there is really bright. Fade into the black. Um, yeah, whoever's painting these is doing a really nice job. Hooks look really solid. Paint job looks great, and this is going to be the more traditional plug style that you see here on the Great Lakes with that tapered pointed tail. You know, it doesn't have that fin on there. But again, these are nice and light. I'm really curious to see that lightweight. I'm really wondering, you know, how I, I bet they produce really well. I, I bet they, they handle really well at low speeds with that lightweight. So yeah, I'm excited to run these. I wish we were still on the water a bit more. What do I got next? Wind Dancer. 
This one's that tail series again. It's got that tail on there. This one is just a solid white with some black lines on it, and that's a single, single hook on there. Again, really nice paint job. Thumbs up to whoever's doing the paint. Jennifer and uh, Craig, thumbs up to whoever's doing your paint. I don't know how you're doing it, but man, they look they look nice. Definitely uh, some care and time goes into painting these things, however they're doing it. Like I said, whether it be a sticker or a dip or actual paint. Uh, this one's a gold digger. This one's one of the smaller sizes. And the double treble on here again. This one on the bottom has best lure on the bottom of it. It looks like it might be a sticker on there of some kind or painted in some way. But yeah, I can actually see the wood grain in this one. Man, the, uh, the clear coat that they're using on these things is really nice. I can actually see the wood grain coming through on the paint and everything. Really nice construction, I'll say that. They do look like they, whoever's making these, whoever they're, however they're getting it done is really taking their time and putting some uh, putting some love into these things because they are well constructed all right so um, yeah got to look at all six here you got to look at all six initial thoughts um, downsides or the, the things I didn't like there's really only one thing I wish there was a, a size on the box that they send these in so I know exactly which one is which because I'm probably going to keep these in the box so you know that's just one thing I wish that the, that was there but uh, that's really the only downside I, I see to these things as far as quality and look um, I give it you know, like an 8 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10 for, for quality these things are really well painted really well put together uh, looks like they're they're hand cut or handcrafted um, right out of that uh, yellow seed that they're using so yeah I really do like that um, I like the the time that they're taking some of these uh, components like this uh, there's ball bearing barrel swivel on the back here. That's a nice little touch. You know, a lot of a lot of companies kind of chintz out on those t those things. Um, they'll they'll go cheap on some of those components. Uh, but they uh, these guys put some nice components on the hooks. I'm not sure what company they are. Let's see how sharp they are. Yeah, they're not really nail grabbers. I'll say that. I can drag that across my nail pretty pretty easily without it grabbing on it anyway. So. Not real impressed. Uh, that one actually grabbed. One out of the three on that one grabbed. Um, let's see what it's like on the other one. That one's not. That one's not. And then one again. So like 30% of the hooks seem to be sharp on these things. They're not like dull. Well, but to my standards, they're dull. I like these things. Uh, when, when I'm ready to use them, I like these things. I drag them across my nail and they'll just start They'll start digging in and grabbing pretty hard. Oh, I didn't I didn't break open the little one. Let's take a look at that. My apologies. Yeah, look at that. What is this? The boss hog. So that is a tiny little thing there. And that's got the tail on it as well. Let's get a look see on it. Camo on camera, we need a look see. There we go. Again, really nice paint job, single hook. Um, again, that barrel swivel. Uh, the ball bearing barrel swivel on the front or on the bottom. They're really nice Let's see how sharp that hook is Yeah, that thing just glides across my fingernail, so not real impressed on the hook sharpness All right, so let's back up a little here. So the things I don't like No sizes on the box not a huge deal um, to, to some people it's gonna be though hook sharpness I give it you know, like a 3 out of 10 uh, Probably at the most there. Three out of ten, maybe four out of ten for some of those, but uh, definitely the hook sharpness could be uh, the the hook sharpening could be improved. Overall fit and finish, fantastic. Like I said, eight or nine out of ten on the paint job. Um, really well done. Looks like they're taking their time handcrafting these things. And really nice touch I said on the on the extra components. Um, but if you're going to go ahead and take the time and put a nice ball bearing barrel swivel on there, take the time to to put some quality hooks on there as well. Um, yeah. So that's that's my overall thoughts on these. I do like them. Like I said, the website is uh, bestlure.ca, www.bestlure.ca. Now let's jump in real quick and see if we can get a price on uh, some of these. I got the website right here on my phone. I know it's probably going to be Canadian dollars. Um, 
Okay. So yeah, so I'm looking at the, uh, well, let's do this. Let's look at the six inch. Let's see how much the six inch are. Okay. Okay, so the uh, the six inches are Canadian dollars, eighteen ninety five. I don't know what that converts into uh, to United to U.S. dollars. I know it'll be cheaper. I'm guessing probably around nine bucks, uh, probably in that somewhere in that price range. So the six inches are are that. Let's look at uh, let's look at another one. I gotta jump back and forth here on the website between they're not all on one page. I gotta jump back and forth between the sizes. So the three and five eighths inch <clears throat> excuse me are Canadian twelve ninety five. A lot of nice colors on there, I do see that. The uh, four and a quarter inch which I'm gonna guess are, I don't know if I have a four and a quarter here. I don't think I do. That's where it'd come in handy if I had that on the box. Uh, four and a quarter Canadian is fourteen ninety five. So, and then the two and a half, which I know has gotta be that little one right there, that little boss hog. The two and a half are Canadian 1095. So, it gives you an idea if you want to convert that over to US dollars, it gives you an idea of what they cost. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up right there. Um, leave a comment down below what you think, what you like, what you don't like. I'm gonna do a follow-up video. At least I'll get these on the water and see how they do, how they do um, track and perform throughout the water. And then, uh, and then after that, and I said this in a previous video, what I'll do is I, I want to fish some of these next year. I really want to give them a, a really good um, test. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to at least save a couple of them. Or maybe I can even talk best lure into donating a couple more. Because uh, I do want to give some away. I want to give some away and have you guys actually try them out and comment down below on the video what you think of them, what your success stories are. I think that's a really good way to review. I, I'm not the world's perfect, you know, world's greatest reviewer in any way. You know, I, I have a pretty good idea what works, what looks good. I can usually look at something and have a pretty good idea if it's going to, you know, probably put a fish in the box. But I really like to hear from everybody else as well. So let's, uh, let's see how this plays out. Watch for the next video. And then uh, as season rolls into next year, watch for a follow-up. And uh, hopefully we'll, give, we'll also generate uh, some added comments down below. And we'll give some of these things away to you guys out there so you can give them a try too. So, hey, as always, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. If you like, go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit the notification. If you don't want to, hey, I get that also. I'm not here to twist anybody's arms. But to let you know, it does help us out on the channel if you do uh, hit the thumbs up button and, and hit that subscribe. So, all right, let's get out of here. Have a great day. We'll see you guys on the water.